Okay, we are here for another Robocraft 2 update. This will be the first such update since the game was released on the 18th of October of this year, 2022. In the time since its alpha release, FreeGem have released three patches, improving stability and fixing bugs. In addition to these, FreeGem made a number of adjustments, including adjusting heavy laden material, making it more resistant to collisions in the process. They have also changed the game, such that friendly fire and self-damage is no longer an option. They have also reworked the weapons so that they behave more as intended. Plasmas having been a little overpowered, question, underpowered, and the opposite being true of lasers. However, the most notable changes since release would have to be in the form of the new parts that FreeGem added. First up, and continuing on the theme of weapon changes, FreeGem have introduced the first explosive plasma block weapons. So in terms of the um, explosive blocks, we just slap them on. Let's, let's just give these a try. We'll just slap these onto the build. I think the front is fine for this purpose. And I see that these are pretty much automatically wired to the left mouse button, which is convenient for our purposes, although this is one way of configuring them. They can, in fact, be configured to go off on a sensor, for instance, or other logic. I think that the best way to explain this is to demonstrate it. Let's head in for a test. These blocks can be fired once every 45 seconds as of recording and pack a much bigger punch than regular plasmas, at least on paper. Okay, let's see. Let's try it out on the wall. Let's just head in nice and easy, gentle and such, because I don't want to ruin those blocks before we even get some action. And I'm not sure how tough they are, if at all. Get nice and close, get nice and close, and there we go. Mm, that's very underwhelming. Let's try again. Okay, and zap. That's much more like it. Okay, so fine. I, I'll take it that the wall was just a very tough target. But why not give it another test and I figure that that evil turret is as good a target as any. Well, not like that it's not. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Let's try again. No, 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 no. Oh boy. Fine. Recall. Oh, no, no skybox this time. Okay, fine. Okay, let's try again, and... Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, let's get out. So much for that. Would have been interesting. Ah, that's annoying. Gripping Robocraft 2 content, courtesy of Pathforger. Ram. Die. Okay, I think we're making good headway. Let's try again, and... Okay, we are definitely making headway now. That thing is now harm... Never mind, it is, however, harmless. Still packs a punch, that was my fault. And I think we've seen enough there, so... Yeah, that was, that was kind of satisfying, and... Um, fine, let's move on. So, next up, we've got the decoupler blocks. Let's try those out. They're in the power joint section. Let's just remove the explosive blocks, and let's figure out where to put these decouplers. Yeah, I think the back will do. The back will do. Just a very simple, quick application. Let's just, let's just link these to... Okay, so if we're triggering on the left mouse button, then we'd better make this on the right mouse button, sure. Okay, that works. That's one. And that's two. 
and let's move in and that's valve okay so all three of our decouplers are now connected let's fit them with some explosives something you know something very simple nice to the back and that's that's perfectly fine and those are already pre-configured yes left mouse button that works okay so let's take this out for a test um what What? That's not a good start. What are you doing on the ground? You're not supposed to be on the ground? Well, let's just keep going anyway. We can, we can still perform the test with just two. Okay, and alrighty then. That's not so great. I swear those Garys are made out of tissue paper. Took out a wheel though. Make that two wheels. Those wheels are too flimsy, or I should say the tires are flimsy. But we can demonstrate this. As you can see, the explosives have been dropped. And I can detonate them remotely. That's perfectly fine. Now, don't pay heed to this particular... Um, very basic and very um, rudimentary build. Think of something more elaborate, something like mines and such. Um, something like um, well, a more a more um, elaborate thing. But why is this thing not staying on the build? Why is it falling off? Why is it always the same one? And it's I have no idea. Actually, I do have an idea. I couldn't count to three, and well, I kind of failed. I kind of failed to hook up the decoupler to the seat. So it was basically always activating on creation. So that's what went wrong. So I think I'll give a few players bots a quick try. And let's start with this turret mobile. That is a big turret. Is that thing really being held up by a single decoupler? Something tells me that gravity might have our plans for it, but let's give it a try. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Nice. Let's give it a try. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Let us reset. I see that weapons no longer harming the self doesn't apply to bots being able to damage themselves in other more physical ways. But the tank does look cool. The tank does look cool. I mean, high points for style. This is a really nice style for um, the tank. Um, it's always a shame to me that... So, one thing I'm noticing is that this version of Robocraft 2 is repeating the same, let's say, mistake that Robocraft 1 currently suffers from. If one is running a ground bot, and one is aiming at a target in the sky, the weapons... Oh, did I just drop... Why did you drop? Did I trigger you accidentally? 
I think I triggered you accidentally. Fine, let's try it. Let's test that theory. I think I know what went wrong or what went right. So let's see. Can I trigger you? Is it a matter of trigger? Yes, I triggered. Okay. So this particular build, use spacebar to drop the turret. That's fine. That's fine. It works. If one is running a ground bot and one is aiming at a target in the sky, as of present, the camera will look at the undercarriage of the bot rather than allowing the player to actually, sh you know, see what they're shooting at. Uh, one has to zoom all the way in, and even then, it's not reliable and it's pretty terrible overall. And this is something I'd hope to see Free Jam fix. Alright, alright, let's move on to a different build now. Let's see what else is on the CRF. What the heck is this? Oh, mech heads. Interesting. They're definitely interesting. It's great to see players are exercising their artistic abilities in the game. That's wonderful. This is what Robocraft excels at. But what the heck is this? A trebuchet? What kind of monstrosity is this? I don't care. I have to give this a try. What on earth is that? And perhaps just as importantly, how the heck is that massive object up there being supported by just these very spindly little things? Support columns. Well, I think uh, that's it looks like a timer over there of some sort. I think I want to try this out. Let's get in. That's a massive, massive build. Whoa! That's... That was... That's one way of taking a player for a spin, I suppose. I'm really appreciating this level of zoom out, by the way. This is the kind of zoom out that I think Free Jam should permit in general. So let's give that another try. So yeah, while on the subject, yeah, I'm, I'm zoomed out as far as I can with Cray. I'd really like to be like 50% further away with my zoom, zoomed out uh, zoom, so to speak. Let's give us another whirl and oh, that is so funny. Oh, wow. We almost flew off the map there again. Let's give it another roll. Come on. Again, we oh, oh, for a moment, I really thought we actually flew off there. My mistake, but yeah, this this level of zoom is great, and this is terrific. That's a really, really interesting build. And let's move on to the next one. Hang on, that's Optimus Prime. I've seen this build on the Discord. It looks absolutely awesome. This level of detail is phenomenal. And... I mean, the description says it all. It hasn't got legs set up, so... Ah, let's give it a try anyway. Wow, that thing is massive. That's a robot. Now that is a bot. Now, that's the scale of what I'd like to see in Robocraft. With functional legs, of course. And somehow managed to not be a liability. Okay, okay. I see. Alright. What? 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 Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 the tr No, my goodness! I'm causing a mess! Oh! This is... The humanity! Oh my word! Oh, the more I move, the worse it becomes. Poor Optimus! Oh. Oh. I'm feeling so bad at the moment. Just twisting around like an agony. 
I think I'll put it out of its misery now. Okay, thank you for your uh, service, Optimus. Uh, let's pr let's put you back together and try not to have that happen again. Okay, leap and in we go and uh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ah, <sighs> that's annoying. Okay, fine. Well, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Jump! And we go for a third time. Nice and easy. No sudden movements. And... Listen, even from this angle, it looks absolutely fabulous. This is a very nicely done... Artbot. And... That looks like Optimus to me. That does look like Optimus. No guns fitted, but that's perfectly forgivable, let's say. And it's a massive, massive bot. Those joints are just so really good. Oh, really well done, really well done. Oh, what? No, they're out. Okay. Manage to save it. Managed to prevent a tragedy, although not without some damage. Looking at this damage is kind of a wonder it's still standing. Really? Can't move the toes? Why is that? I mean, I understand not being able to move the big bot, but the, the thing at the bottom? Oh, well, well. That was a really impressive bot. Let's move on to the... Never mind. Uh, okay, so it does seem that there are some errors that still are in the game. Only very recently did FreeGem drop hints as to what the first multiplayer game mode will be like, in the form of a new edition of the Robo Herald. A few key hints are mentioned, with the first being in the form of the date of publication, the 8th of December. It is likely that this marks the day that the first multiplayer mode will be coming to Robocraft 2. Direct mention is also made of what is likely to be the first multiplayer map to be introduced to the game, Hella's Basin. Hella's Basin is set to be a Mars map, and it is clear that this is going to be a little different from Robocraft 1's Hellion Crater. Hints as to what the multiplayer will be like are also dropped throughout the article. And I'll be including that also in the description below. The link to that in the description below. Robocraft reactors will be reprising their role in the coming mode, which already gives Battle Arena vibes, but that is not all. Mention is made of towers that defend the reactors, and this should get some players of older versions of Robocraft excited, as quite a few players claimed that the older Protonite towers were preferable to the circular points that eventually replaced them. Those towers were mostly defenseless, however, and the mention that these towers would play a role in defending the reactor hopefully means that taking on a tower in Robocraft 2 would be a modestly more daunting affair, with the tower having some means of defending itself beyond just passive shielding. Mention is made of defensive turrets, but these are probably going to be the manable kind, and will hopefully exist in addition to AI-powered defenses. A further interesting mention here is that of two battle gates, only one of which can be accessed by a given team. This firstly tells me that FreeJam are planning to include a protected spawn zone to prevent the kinds of spawn camping that can at times be a problem in Robocraft 1. This secondly indicates that as f at least for the moment, the multiplayer is going to be constrained to two teams probably reds and blues, or blues and reds. Interesting stuff. Um, we'll see what happens from there. Other changes to mention. Freejam will be moving forward with pilot scale weapons with the introduction of a quantum machine gun as a handheld weapon for pilots. 
I am curious to see how this is implemented. Um, the mention of assault rifles was mentioned, although I still think that, you know, dual pistols or similar would be cooler and perhaps more uh, appropriate for pilots, but hey, this is just a flavor thing. While no mention of improved pilot mobility is made, it is suggested that pilots would be able to beam back faster than present, which should be a good thing. Also hinted at is the intention to allow players to switch between their bots at the switch plate. This was mentioned in the past, it's being reiterated in this article. One thing that should be mentioned is that it is likely that the multiplayer mode won't be simply turned on and left on, but that multiplayer may at first be limited to particular time slots, probably in an effort to funnel players into those slots for a better overall player experience. It is also likely that those players will only be able to bring builds to battle if they are weaponized, but that's less clear. So that is all that I have for you for the moment, so it is time to hear of your thoughts. What do you think of these updates? Do explosive blocks look like they might find their way onto your bots? Do you have any plans for decoupler blocks? How do you feel about the information concerning the upcoming multiplayer mode? I look forward to reading your thoughts and I will meet you down in the comments below.
as always, thank you for watching.